there, my name is Alexis and in today's video I will be doing a review of the Morphe X Sweetie 24A Artist Pass palette. I've been looking for a palette that has a bunch of neon colors and a bunch of glitters in it because I've been trying to get more and more bold with my makeup and so as soon as I saw this on the Morphe page I immediately had to get it. And as well as this is my first Morphe palette I've ever tried before. I only have Morphe brushes which by the way Morphe was so so nice throughout the process of shipping it and after I ordered it they let me know uh, through an email that it would take longer than expected due to what is going on right now and also gave me wonderful updates throughout the whole shipping process. I automatically knew especially with what is going on with the world that it would take much longer than expected to get the palette which I was totally okay with. I understood and I'm so so thankful to have even gotten this palette in the time that I did but still Morphe sent me emails letting me know uh, how long it would take and what they were doing to keep it all sanitary and safe as they shipped it out and I really do appreciate that. It arrived today and I'm so excited i have been eyeballing this palette ever since i ordered it like literally as soon as i saw it i ordered it because it is so pretty and after this i'm going to be doing a look with the palette to see how well the pigmentation shows as well as how easily the colors blend and how well it actually uh reacts to my skin but before we get started if you guys want to see me unbox anything else on my channel or do anything makeup wise or just any content in general make sure you hit that subscribe button it really helps my channel out and yeah without further ado let's get to unboxing Starting with the outside packaging, it is so freaking beautiful. It reminds me of festivals. So on the front, it just says Morphe 24A Artist Pass Artistry Palette. It's got this sunset look on the box and also the lettering um, where it just says Morphe and all of this. It's like kind of raised up a little and it has this really cool metallic texture. On the back, it says 24 All Access Shades. This lineup of amped up pigments and graphic glitter starring four supersized shades with special effects are ready to perform from the first set to sunset. Jaws will drop and heads will turn with every insta-worthy look you create. It's time to take the main stage, babe. But yes, I'm excited for this one specific shade I definitely want to incorporate into the look I do after I unbox this. I can't remember the color of it, but it's the starry glittery one. I'll put a picture up here. You know the one I'm talking about if you have this palette. So let's go ahead and slide her out. Oh my god, I'm so excited. All right, so the packaging is a little more defined outside of the box. Here is a comparison of the two. And then this is what the back looks like. All right, let's open this. I am so ready. Okay. Oh my God. Here we go. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. This is, oh my. I'm holding the bubble wrap there so you can't like really see uh, my nasty setup. But it just says hashtag artist pass palette up here, which I'll be using that hashtag uh, when I post a picture on Instagram using this. But yeah, oh my God, you guys, this is... The, I always say this because I'm always filming with an iPhone, but the quality and colors in, like, in this palette are insane and not picked up correctly on camera. Oh my god, Spotlight Stealer. That is the one I am most excited for. I'm definitely going to have to incorporate that in a look somehow. I will say though, as well as the sizing of just the palette packaging in general, the pans are literally so much bigger than I thought. Here is a little up close of all of the colors. I am literally so excited to dip into these. All right, so I'm going to quickly go ahead off camera and prime one of my arms because I'm going to do one of the swatches with nothing on my arm, completely blank, and then I'm going to do one obviously where it is primed. All right, so I did run out of room on my arm, so I'm going to have to reprime it again. But these are all the colors from All Access to Secret Set. I am pretty impressed with how well it has shown up, even though there are some I did have to swatch twice. For example, front row, I did have to swatch it twice a little bit to show up on camera. I wish stage persona showed up just a little bit more, but it just may be because I have a lighter complexion, so it just may not show up as well. I'm going to quickly go ahead and wipe this off, and I'm going to swatch my max volume all the way down to a mic drop and um, I will show you guys after that. Okay, I am back and wow, I 
the, I wish y'all would be able to hear how I reacted to these. The only one that kind of had to take a couple swatches um, off camera was Under the Sun, the yellow one, but I'm pretty sure yellow pigment is pretty hard to make appear really well. Other than that, I am obsessed with these colors, especially this purple and this blue are so pretty. So now I'm going to swatch them all on my other arm without any primer and see how it takes. I am back with the swatches without primer and I am still obsessed with the pigmentation. They all showed up really, really well, especially the glitters, which I'm really happy about. And also, sorry if it was a little out of frame. I'm filming at a weird angle right now, but yeah, these are the swatches without all the primer and I, 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 I'm going to quickly change the angle and then I'm going to do a look with some of these colors and do my overall evaluation of the palette. Hey you guys, okay, so I already went off the head and primed my eyes with just the old- you went ahead off camera and primed my eyes with the Ulta Matte Primer in the shade Nude, and then I just set it with my regular regular face powder. This is not what we we're about to do. I am so excited. I am going to be recreating a look from Maddie's makeup on Instagram. I will link her down below. I'll be trying to recreate this look. She didn't specifically use this palette, but, but I figured the colors in there kind of matched what she did already, and I was already obsessed with the look. So we're just gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Hello. I started doing this makeup look on this eye and realized I was doing the colors backwards so guess who had to restart and plus I literally cannot form a sentence if my life depended on it so we're just going to pretend that footage never happened and we're going to just restart. There is one to two colors that Maddie did use in her look that is not in the palette so I'm going to have to dip into a different palette to get those but I guess it could also be a test to see like how well it mixes with other eyeshadows because I mean you can't just do a look with one eyeshadow shadow palette. start off, I'm going to go ahead and dip into a major inspo this purple and I'm going to put that in the inner half of my crease. I will say off the bat that these colors like literally do whatever you want them to do. Like I pack it on and it stays pigmented and then as soon as I blend it like it wants to blend. Dipped into this color about three to four times just because I'm I don't know how to like not. And the fallout is barely there if not at all someone who is still trying to learn how to blend i really do appreciate the pigment doing this uh because like it's made it really really easy for me to blend it out i'm never used to doing eyeshadow looks up this high to my uh eyebrow so i apologize if by the end of this i look like that da, 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 da. Okay, so i'm going ahead and dipping into a different palette with a red color and i'm going to start by putting that just at the bottom here because we are going to take an orange from a different palette and then the under the sun yellow from the 24A palette and we're going to smoke it out this high. But this will also be a test to see how well the pigments um, go with different eyeshadow palettes. Again, I'm going in with a different palette and I'm going to pack orange right on top of that and blend it. Other eyeshadows are mixing really well with the purple, which I am very, very happy about. And then going ahead with Under the Sun from the 24A palette, I am going to blend that as the last color up here and then merge all the colors together. Somebody will have to let me know in the comments below, but this yellow, as I continue to blend it out, it's turning a different color or fading a little bit. It's been a couple of minutes and I'm really trying to get these colors to get together and I just, I don't know what's happening. I don't know if it's the yellow or what it is, but like I'm trying to get the colors to blend together. Meanwhile, having that kind of sunset side over here and it's just turning into this. I don't know if it's a uh, trust the process or I'm doing something wrong where it's actually the eyeshadow because I don't want to upload this and everybody be like, well, you're an idiot. So that's why it's not blending. But this is where I've halted myself at right now. And I'm just going to go ahead and continue on to cut the crease and I will see if I can fix this afterwards. Going ahead and taking a flat brush in the Fenty Beauty 
Beauty Foundation. It's just a preference of how I cut my crease. I'm going to go off camera, cut my crease and set it and then we will continue on with some more colors. All right, so I am back with my crease cut and then now I'm going to take some flat brushes and I'm going to start putting color onto my lid. I'm going to go ahead and start with green room and apply that into the inner part of the cut crease. Go ahead with under the sun and blend that into the middle. Okay, so I keep applying it to my eye and when I keep trying to blend it, the color disappears completely. So this bright yellow goes onto my eyelid and it kind of fades into that. I'm guessing the yellow is just a little chalky which i feel bad saying because i never want to be negative about anything but i genuinely cannot make it work with anything at all and then for the outer part to blend the cut crease with the little brown part right there i'm going to take this hot pink max volume and i'm going to apply it right here uh oh let me go ahead and get a different brush oh i am flying through these brushes how well my camera is going to pick it up but the yellow is just very chalky and ugh. I feel bad saying that like I don't know if it's my fault or not but I just cannot get it to work with anything. I took um a makeup wipe and I pulled I just like kind of wiped it and I kind of like the harsh line look how it just appears suddenly on my eye. I don't think there's any way in hell I'm going to be able to recreate this on my other eye. So I don't know what I'm about to do. Also, as I was doing it, I don't know if you can see right here, but all the pigment is literally gone. Like part of that is just my eyelid and I... But we're going to try a different look on my other eye. I'm going to... I just, I just gotta, I gotta make this work somehow. I'm going to go ahead and start with get the shot and I'm going to apply that to the inner third of my crease. this oh boy i probably should have been using this <laughs> get the difference at the yellows and then oh i'm confused next on the middle part i'm going to take a desert vibes i'm going to take security and put that on the outer third I'm not gonna cut the crease at all. I'm just going to go ahead and take all excess. I'm going to just apply that on the lid. On top of that, I'm going to take invite only and just apply that where I put all access. I'm going to go off camera and do my eyeliner and my mascara, 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 and then the rest of my face, and I will do my overall review afterwards. Okay, I am back, and I think we all are just agreeing that we are ignoring this eye completely. Again, I am not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional, as you can see. So this is just me giving my honest opinion. So I'm open to criticism in the comments to help me out if I maybe did something wrong with this eye and what I can improve on to maybe see if I can fix my opinion of the palette. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I recommend the Morphe 24A Artist Pass Palette a 9 out of 10. I've only detected one point and that's because of pigmentation, but again, I am open to criticism if I maybe did something wrong and I can approve uh, how the pigment goes on my eyes, maybe if it's from my primer or not. This eye, I really love how it turned out. The colors blended so beautifully, so I may be just thinking that the one yellow I was trying to work with isn't that well for my eye. Would I recommend somebody to buy this palette? Yes, I think so. I think this is just going to be a palette that's going to take me a second um, to get used to or how to figure out how to use. Is it worth the $35 I paid? I'm not so sure. But for the couple colors that weren't showing as much pigment as I wished, I don't think it was really worth that much. But overall, I think it's a lovely palette. I'm excited to try to get used to it and fix it. But again, 
I am obsessed with this eye. I mean, the colors do blend well, so most likely it's just either the brushes that I use or the pigmentation just didn't want to blend into each other. I mean, I was trying to get, blend yellow into purple, so you don't know what you're getting at this point. But yeah, that was my review of the palette. I just, I, I, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Again, just wish those certain shades had a little more pigmentation and not so much chalkiness into them. This eye will definitely go down into the worst eyeshadow look ever created in the universe and on youtube.com. For my sunny shadow, I do have a couple of them and I will list them right there. They've been really, really supportive of my channel recently and it means a lot. So hi, I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for being so kind to me. You absolutely mean the world to me. If you guys want to be my next video sunny shadow, all you have to do is either leave a comment down below, retweet my videos, tweet when I tweet out the video link, or share this video onto your Instagram stories and make sure to tag me at alexis.paradise and all three ways will automatically enter you in. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more content from me, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, you can leave me future video recommendations in the comment section below. One last thing, if you'd like to be notified whenever I upload, please hit the bell button next to this. Nope. <laughs> hit the bell button next to the subscription button that way you'll see my face in your subscription box whenever I upload. But yeah, thank you guys for taking a vacation in my paradise. I hope to see you soon. Please stay safe. I love you. Bye.